Good morning, everyone. This is Harlan Bospisros, Senior Analyst at Iron FX, bringing you the morning comment for the 27th of July. All eyes will be on the FOMC policy meeting today, where the committee, the committee is almost certain to keep the federal funds rate unchanged, given that there is no press conference and no updated forecasts uh, to be released at this meeting. Market participants are likely to focus on the meeting statement, which we expect to reflect a more hoggish bias than the one in June. At the June meeting, officials expressed their, their concerns over the softness in the May employment data and noted that the outcome of the UK referendum could delay their hiking plans. However, the Brexit vote has so far not caused the market chaos that many expected, while US data were resilient, suggesting a pickup in uh, quarter two GDP. Jobs growth recovered in June while retail sales firmed and financial conditions ha have uh, calmed considerably with uh, the S&P 500 uh, recently reaching a new all-time high. We expect Fed members to acknowledge this in their statement, something that could support uh, the dollar somewhat on the decision. Nevertheless, we believe that some members in Yellen's uh, squad will still be nervous uh, that the referendum outcome may have more serious effects uh, in the future, perhaps when the UK Prime Minister Theresa May decides to invoke the, the Article 50. According to the Fed Fund's uh, futures, the market has uh, brought well forth its uh, expectations for the next rate hike, which it now prices fully in August uh, 2017 from January 2019 ahead of the release of the May employment report. Yet we stick to our guns and we view the market as uh, more pessimistic than uh, the economic environment uh, currently suggests. We believe that September and December are the most likely candidates for the Fed to act, but we, but we assign a higher probability to a potential hike in December. We believe that the two months left until uh, the September meeting may be too soon for the FOMC to conclude that the US uh, remained unaffected by the Brexit vote, while the November, the November gathering is just a week before the US election, a period that could be marked by hate and volatility. Overnight, uh, there were fresh reports that uh, Japan's Prime Minister Abe will announce uh, the details of a 27 trillion yen fiscal package that would also include the issuance of 50-year uh, bonds. This came in contrast to yesterday's uh, story, which suggested that the measures would account to a mere 6, tri 6 trillion yen. The yen slid on this news, but quickly recovered after the Ministry of Finance stated that it is not considering issuing 50-year bonds. Thereafter, Prime Minister Abe confirmed that the size of the package will exceed 28 trillion yen, causing the currency to tumble once again. Given Abe's confirmation that the size of the package will be significant and considering the elevated expectations for Bank of Japan easing on Friday, we believe that uh, uh, yen's short-term bias is to the downside. Additionally, an optimistic tone from the FOMC tonight could cause dollar yen to spike higher. As for today's indicators, during the European day, the UK's first estimate of uh, second quarter GDP is coming out. The forecast is uh, for the nation's growth rate to have remained unchanged from the previous quarter at 0.4%. Nevertheless, we view the risks around that forecast as uh, tidal to the downside. We believe that the uncertainty that uh, dominated uh, the pre-referendum era may have caused f firms to delay some of their spending and investment plans, something that may have weight on uh, growth. Indeed, according to the market uh, service sector PMI reports, uh, the service sector, which accounts for almost 80% of the nation's GDP, suffered its uh, worst quarter for more than three years in the three months from April to June. Even though pre-referendum data may attract uh, less, uh, less attention than usual, a potential slowdown in uh, quarter two GDP could uh, signify that Brexit-related uncertainties were already affecting the economy prior to the vote. Something like that could bring the pound under renewed selling interest. We have no speakers uh, scheduled for today. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our, our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.